It looks good. Uh, they really did really well, so I don't know if you could tell how breathable this is. Yeah, this came together very, very well. Hello guys, today we'll start our tutorial on color range knockouts, halftone, and filter effects for our Leonidas design. And to start, open Photoshop and then open the image you want to work with by selecting file, then open and navigating to your image file. First, let's add a new background layer. Be sure that the main image layer is still on top. Select the color range tool by navigating to select then color range from the top menu. This will open the color range dialog box. Click on the image in the color range dialog box to choose the color you want to select. This will create a preview of the selected color in the dialog box. Click OK to confirm the selection once you're satisfied with it. The selected color range will now be highlighted with marching ants on your image. Just copy and paste the selection by going to edit, then select copy and paste, and you will see that only the color selected in the color range will be copied. Then, repeat this process for the other colors in the image. Just go back to select, then color range, choose a new color, confirm the selection, and copy and paste until we have used color range for all the colors in our image. Once you have your color range selected, you can apply various adjustments to enhance or alter the selected colors. For hue and saturation, navigate to image then adjustments and select hue and saturation. In the dialog box, you can adjust the sliders for hue, saturation, and lightness. The hue slider changes the color itself, allowing you to shift it along the color spectrum. The saturation slider increases or decreases the intensity of the color making it more vivid or muted. The lightness slider adjusts the brightness of the color, making it lighter or darker. Additionally, you can use the colorize option to apply a single hue across the entire selection, creating a uniform color tone. For levels, go to image then adjustments and select levels. In this dialog box, you can adjust the input levels to enhance the contrast and tonal range of your selection. The left slider adjusts the black point, making the darkest areas darker. The middle slider adjusts the mid-tones, and the right slider adjusts the white point, making the lightest areas lighter. This can help to bring out more detail and improve the overall look of the selected color range. For filter effects, there are many options available in Photoshop, such as the filter gallery. When you open the filter gallery, you'll see a variety of artistic effects that you can apply to your design, like the colored pencil effect, cutout effect, watercolor, and many more. When you click on the filter gallery, a dialog box will automatically appear and you'll be able to preview the effects you want to use. For now, let's keep our design as it is and apply the halftone effect to prepare it for DTF printing in the future. To apply the halftone effect, first select all the layers of the color range you've created and convert them into a smart object. Next, duplicate the smart object layer, then click on the smart object icon in the layers panel to open it in a new tab. In this new tab, we will apply the halftone effect. To start half tuning, first add a background layer to better see your design and progress. Then go to image, click mode and select grayscale, then click merge. Adjust the levels by pressing control plus L and click OK when satisfied.
Next, go to image, click mode and select bitmap. A dialog box will appear asking you to flatten layers. Press OK for the resolution. Keep it at 300 pixels per inch and click OK. The halftone screen dialog box will appear. Feel free to experiment with the settings. For this process, a frequency of 42, an angle of 45, and a round shape will work fine. Click OK, and although the result might not be obvious at first, zooming in will reveal that the design has been half-toned. Save the file and close the tab to return to your original artwork. Next, select the white areas in the half-tone design using the magic wand tool by pressing W. Then go to select and choose similar to select all the white areas in the design. Hide the halftone layer, select your main design image layer, and at the bottom of the layers panel, click add layer mask. Your halftone effect is now complete. Hey superstars, I'm excited to share some fantastic updates from our website that will actually transform how you order and design your prints. We've always focused on efficiency and ease and to continue that tradition, we're introducing a brand new auto build tool on our GangSheet Builder site. This tool is a game changer from our creative customers who want control over the designs, really quick inputs for their easy arrangement. With this new feature, you can customize your gang sheets exactly the way you want it, as quickly as you like. All right, we got our print. Let's take a closer look at it. It's very, very breathable. I don't know if you could tell. There's a lot of half tones, a lot of the effects knocked out, a lot of the neutral colors to help it breathe on the shirt. Now let's just measure how big this is. 12 inches, 10 quarter pretty good size print let's get started a medium black belly canvas is going to be our blank for today it is a model number of 3001 so if you guys are looking for this type of shirts definitely look in our link description below and our heat press we're going to be using our heat master prisma it is also in the link in the description below has a 16 by 20 layout and a 10 inch pullout as well as you can also thread shirts to make it very easy for any type of project all right let's get started It looks so good. Uh, they really did really well. So I don't know if you could tell how breathable this is. It looks good. It's a breathable shirt. It did really well in the black knockout. So yeah, this came together very, very well, especially on a medium shirt. So yeah, it did great. All right, guys, we showed you how to do a color range with half tones and a black knockout effect on this Spartan soldier. Then we printed it out, slapped it on a belly canvas. Now we got a shirt that I honestly would see in some retail stores. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And if you guys are looking for a DTF supplier or just trying to replace your existing one, definitely give us a shot. We would love to earn your business. All right, that's it for me for now. If you guys saw value in this video, definitely give us a like and subscribe. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this, leave a comment down below. All right. Bye.